Good morning, and uh, welcome to Unusual Radio with Tanya. And uh, this morning it is a high of 49, and it's only going to be 52 here in Warren. So, to me, it's a little chilly. I don't know about you, but it's a little chilly for me. Now, I myself, as you can see, I'm up. I have more energy, but I'm still not better yet. But I'm on my way. I'm definitely better than I was. So, here I am. Anyway, so, yesterday was a really beautiful day. I mean, it was gorgeous. Um, I had energy yesterday, and uh, I actually, you know, was out, you know, had the windows open, you know, trying to air things out and trying to clean up since I've been in bed all week. Um, what do you call it? And then I had to go pick up my most awesome Christmas boxes. Um, my friend Lori had sent me a thing, you know, saying that somebody had some Christmas stuff. And I went over there yesterday and I got it. And some of these things are so cute. I never even saw, like, there's like this little bitty box, like about like this big. Okay, and you open it up, and there's like a little town scene in there, and it plays music. It is the cutest thing. I'm like, I didn't have anything like that. Like, that is adorable. So I was like really happy. So, uh, yeah, that kind of made my day. But I mean, when I, this woman who packed these things, this woman is a professional packer. She did an amazing job. You think I could, in my wildest dreams, get these things back in those boxes the way she had them? No. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you what, I wish I had her skills packing. That girl, I mean, everything has to be organized in her house because she, uh, that was like phenomenal. I was like blown away just by that. Anyway, so, <clears throat> now, also along the lines of my fine flu hell, uh, you know, Vicks VapoRub, that has been my buddy, as well as my sleepy time tea and my honey. <laughs> I guess this is what happens when you become a hag. Oh, and I did go through... Five big boxes of puffs. That's how bad my nose is. Okay. I literally have little scabs on my rim. Okay. And it was puffs with lotion. But that that's a lot of blowing. I mean, come on. You have to admit. So. But uh, hopefully I'm not going to snot all over the place while I'm here. And, uh, you know, hopefully I won't start coughing. I'm going to start coughing, then I'll just end it, because I usually end up coughing for a few minutes. It's just a little cough, you know, but I can usually tell. So, anyway, now, I don't know if you saw on the page where it has the zoo, um, where you can name a roach after your ex. You know, I like that idea. Good morning, Terry. I really like that idea, okay, especially since the last couple weeks, certain things that have come to light about my ex, okay, I think I need to name a cockroach after him. I love that idea. I really do. So, I don't know if anybody else is like, all up for that, but, you know, I think it's a great one. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to do one for his name, one for a nickname, you know, one for, like, another name I call him, you know, 
Maybe I'll just have to have like a whole little family of them. Yeah. Anyway. So now I don't know if you saw the ripped jeans prank thing. Oh my God. I fucking love that. I tell you, I need that. Did you see the hairy ass hanging out of it? Like, that is just too much. Here you have this cute little thing, these little jeans on, the big rip, and the, all that hair hanging out. Oh, my God. Priceless. I really need to get myself a pair of those jeans, go out like that with my fart machine, okay, and really just do it up. I think that would be priceless. Can you imagine the looks? I am feeling a little bit better. Um, I have more energy. I'm still battling this sinus, throat, and cough thing. But uh, I am overall feeling better, yes. I'm not hurting in every orifice of my body. So now it's more just in the head from coughing. So I'm just taking Motrin for that. But thank you for asking. Um, so, yeah, I, I really think I need to do some kind of a prank like that. Now, I know Ed would do it, like in a heartbeat. You know, that would also be really funny. Um, so, I think I need to work on this because I, I really think I want to, I need to do something with this. Now, Speaking of Ed, Ed is supposed to be back this evening. And when I tell you he's like a problem child, he really is. When you start hearing about this trip he's had, you're just not even going to believe it. I mean, I believe it because... I've actually seen it in action. It's pretty sad. And it's, these are facts. Um, all these things, you, with him, you just can't make it up. You really can't. So, but he's going to be exhausted. He actually is in Durham, uh, what, North Carolina, I guess, South Carolina, I don't know. Uh, and he's at his mom's. So he's leaving there at 8 o'clock this morning, 9 o'clock this morning. And he's going to be driving up. We'll see what happens from there until here, if he actually makes it. So this is what I'm saying. I told him to fly. That's all I can say. I did tell him to fly. Did he listen? No. Okay, let's just put it this way, between flat tires, losing half tanks of gas, that started on the way down, um, a bird shitting in his car, perfectly where his, I guess his controls are, um, I guess he started getting sick down there with the cold. But then again, he was around all of us before he left. So I'm surprised he actually lasted as long as he did. So we'll see. But uh, I don't know. Other people that were around us weren't, weren't that sick. I don't know. Maybe it's just a hag thing. Like I said, I'm working on that. So, anyway, I seriously, seriously need to entertain this whole jeans rip thing. I think that would be quite awesome. Just because, you know how many freaks are out there now? I don't know if I put the picture up of the woman in Walmart who looks like, I mean, I hope she has panties on, but she's extremely large. 
and she basically has like a sheet over her, I guess. I don't know. But she really thinks that she looks good and her legs up and she's looking at her little girl. Um, that's the kind of example that that little girl needs. All that hanging out there. Um, yeah. See, if I did the ripped jeans thing in Walmart, I don't think it would affect anyone. They just kind of expect it. I think one of these days I should go to Walmart and just start taking pictures. How about, well, okay, I'll do it outside the store because they're going in because I don't want to go in there. I feel dirty going in there. Anyway, so anybody have any big plans for this week? Anyone, anyone, anyone? Let me know. How's it going? Let's see. Hold on. You know. So, I get to go food shopping. <coughs> and, uh, I think that's going to be like my big highlight. Woo. Woo. Don't be jealous now. You know you want to go. So, anyway. So, I would... Let's see. This last week, getting sick. Let's just talk about that. I don't know if anybody else was sick this last week. But I'm telling you what, it totally kicked my ass. Like, for real. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I was like... The first couple days, it's like all I did was sleep and cough. But it was like it started off as a dry cough. You know, it was just annoying. But then, of course, I was hot and cold. And uh, everything just hurt. Everything hurt for days. But, excuse me. Then, excuse me, I tried. Then... NyQuil, cold and flu. Had a wicked reaction to that. Um, and, uh, yeah. So that's how I ended up converting over to the Vicks Vapo Rub. And uh, my sleepy time tea and my honey. So, but it seems to be working. And, yeah, the, the first couple of days, ooh, I was sick. Ooh. But I couldn't eat. That was just, it was just not pretty. Not pretty at all. So, anyone else sick? No? Um, when I went to get that Christmas stuff yesterday, uh, she was telling me that her son actually, um, had a really bad case of something. So, and she doesn't know what it was, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud to myself. Don't worry about it. Uh, Diane, she was sick. Uh, she started getting sick before, like a day before me. You know, I was, I was like achy before then. But, like, she started getting the chills and all that, which I didn't get the chills until the day after. So, but she was a trooper, and she's like, all right, well, we have our lunch. We have to go to, you know, she just kept right on going. I give her credit. So, yeah, no. The next day, done. Done and done. I tried to be a trooper, and come in here and it just was not going to happen. So sad. Because you know how I like to talk. Okay, so I've been told I never shut up, but that's okay too. I can deal with that. You know, it is what it is. So, anyway, speaking of, so my little doggies, 
Um, they're doing very well. They've been going to a little doggy park. And uh, they're enjoying that. Uh, Sadie, what was it, Monday? Like, I was sitting next to her and, like, she was licking her side and it was like a lump. You know, and I was, like, rubbing it. I didn't, I felt the lump, but that was, like, it. Later on, uh, I started, uh, I was looking at her and, like, she actually, like, has, like, it's like a hole that was, like, in the side of her. I wanted to, like, vomit. It was like, it was horrible, but she seems fine with it. I cleaned it. I've been watching it. You know, she's been fine, but she has allergies. So I've been giving her her allergy meds. And then, of course, Klepto Zoe is still th stealing things like nonstop. Hello, Tony. Um, what do you call it? Yeah, she... She's just getting worse and worse. This dog, I don't know where this came from. Why does this dog have to steal everything? Why? I don't know. Hi, Julio. Um, they just, it does, like, and then she'll find hiding spots. And then I find, I can't find half my stuff. And then I find it in some corner or shoved under something. And I'm like, really? Really? Because she just has to come in. And she'll actually do it right in front of you. If I put something in the basket, you know, I'm going to go do laundry or whatever, she'll come over and I'll be like, you know, maybe five feet away. And I look over and there she is. Sorting through. I'm like, what are you doing? Next thing you know, she grabs it and she runs away. I'm like, what is wrong with you? She goes in your purse. She goes in my drawers, you know, with my makeup and my brushes. She takes the brush all the time. You know, she'll take the comb. She runs off with my freaking glasses all the time. I'm like, a lot of times you'll find it. She's sitting on the couch with her paw over it. Like she's trying to hide it. I'm like, really? Really? I don't know what this this dog's issue is, but I hope it doesn't get worse. Because <laughs> I'm tired of looking for things. It's like, I know I have things. It just doesn't happen. So, anyway. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. So get ready for uh, Ed to show up this evening um, because he's going to. Like I said, that's his words. I want to see if he actually makes it back up here. Knowing Ed, something's going to happen. Surprisingly, though, he has not lost his phone. That's huge. Ed loses and breaks his phone all the time. So, he has not done that. But his Flintstones mobile is about to be retired. I keep telling him, it's got to go. So, let's just see if he makes it here tonight. I'm actually, I want to place some bets here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling real confident about it, but that's all right. I'll be here tonight. So anyway, I do hope that everyone has a wonderful day. Um, I, like I said, I need to uh, start getting moving around and get some stuff done. And uh, I need to go get some food. Yeah, food in the house. And I think my dogs need like a little treat, even though Zoe is a klepto. But, uh, and she's also a little bitch. <laughs> but everyone knows that she is. She's just a little bitch. Anyway, but I love her. 
That's the one in the hat behind me. Zoe has the hat on. Sadie's the bottom one that I'm looking at. Um, so anyway, um, everyone have a great day. I will see everyone tonight. Um, I don't know if it's going to rain, if it's just going to stay cloudy or what. But, you know, if it rains, stay dry. Unless you want to get wet, then get wet. It's up to you. And uh, I will see everyone tonight. All right? Have a great day.